before we get started, I'd like to dedicate this video to our very own Willie. Uh, my son, William, is a sergeant in the United States Air Force, and today is his birthday. So happy birthday, son. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. Hello friends, welcome back to Mini Resin Chef, where we are a community of adult collectors and creators of miniatures. I'm your host, Resin Bell, and today we are doing a DIY. We are creating our own Wonka Miniverse. If you're a Miniverse fan, then you know that the uh, Spring Series Miniverse this year has a ultra rare Wonka box. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was going to be a difficult one to track down. And it was going to be the one that I wanted the most more than anything. <laughs> so having tried to find the Wonka golden ticket and failed so far, I keep thinking of that line in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where Charlie Bucket's mom, played by Diane Maso, tells Charlie, there are a hundred billion people and only five will find golden tickets. Even with a sack full of money, you probably wouldn't find one. When this contest is over, you'll be no different from the billions of others who didn't find one. And even when I was a kid, that struck me as kind of harsh, even if it was true. But I've always been a glasses half full type person, and it was like she was taking away his hope. And that never gelled with me. Well, necessity is the mother of invention, so we will make our own Wonka boxes. So let's get started with our deep fake miniature Wonka boxes. You'll need to print out the PDF in the description box below. If you decide to create these Wonka boxes on your channel, please leave a link to this video in your description box so that others can find this information. Okay, so this is what the Miniverse Spring lineup is. You get the cupcake car uh, carrot cupcakes, honey glazed ham, an egg basket, and some of the honey glazed ham come with the ultra rare Wonka bars. So. In those Wonka bars, you get your golden ticket, uh, your box, um, the mold for the chocolate bars, chocolate resin, the wrappers, and the little fuzzy filling for the box. So uh, that's what we're trying to recreate, sort of. <laughs> now this is what the fuzzy filling would look like. It's a similar, only it's got a Wonka topper and it has uh, purple packaging. I just wanted to show you that. Um, so you're going to need your printout and you can find that in the description box below. I've provided that for free. It is a PDF. It prints out just like this. Um, click uh, fill to page um, and you should uh, end up with something that looks like that. Um, you're also going to need some, some heavy uh, brown paper. This is some pretty thick. Um, you could use like a cardstock, something like that. Um, this is actually the center of a cheap roll of wrapping paper. They don't use cardboard tubes anymore. They just roll up this brown paper in the center. So you can unroll it and then use that. Um, you're going to need some purple tissue paper. Um, I didn't have any, but I do have some purple crepe paper, so I'm just going to use that. And you're going to need a chocolate bar. So this is the chocolate from the um, s'mores pack. And if you don't have any of those, um, my video listening for pickles, it does let you listen to what the s'mores sound like. They're very easy to find once you know what they sound like. Um, so you're going to need uh, some chocolate bars. I have a couple, but I'm just going to be using this. Now these have three pieces of chocolate in them and they're approximately this size. This is what they look like. And you're gonna need three of these, one, two, three, to create a whole chocolate bar. So there's three of them inside one of these packages. So that makes a whole chocolate bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one to put my golden ticket in, and then I'm going to create some dupes to wrap. Uh, you're also gonna need some tin foil, uh, a glue stick, a permanent glue stick, or some other kind of drier glue, like Beacons 3-in-1, um, Glitter Glue, which dries super fast, um, Fabri-Tac, something that doesn't have a high water content because it will make your paper ripple and you will not be happy with it. <laughs> so this is a permanent glue stick. It really, um, really sticks really well, so it's not going to separate on me while I'm trying to fold it up. Um, you can use like a Elmer's School Glue one, um, but... 
you know, your results might vary. <laughs> they do have a little higher water content and sometimes they don't stick all that well. So make sure you're using a permanent glue stick or something else of that type. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and cut out, kind of loosely cut out some of these pieces. Okay, so these Wonka tickets are more like the ones that are um, used as props in the movie. And they have a little bit of a scalloped edge that you can cut out or you can just cut it straight. I'm going to try to uh, do a scalloped on one of them, the one that will show. But first, I should have done this first. I'm going to put a little piece of packing tape over it to give it some gloss. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to start at one side and rub that way. I'm going to really rub that on so that it is no bubbles underneath and it just kind of makes it look more golden and you get a little bit of shine to it so that helps too. So then you get something that looks like that. Yeah, so now I'm going to just uh, cut one of those out. All right, so there's my little golden ticket. And my Wonka bar wrappers. And now I'm going to cut, I'm going to glue these boxes onto the card, onto the uh, paper and then we'll cut them out. Now I would recommend letting those dry thoroughly before you cut them out, making sure you kind of, you know, make sure you got the edges down really, really good. Um, but basically the whole thing down really good. So rub it down a few times just to make sure it's getting really well stuck and then we'll cut it out. Okay, so now while I designed these, I forgot to put the little detail on the end of the box. I don't know if you can see it here, but at the end of the box, there is an image of the Wonka bars. And um, I had some that printed out wrong at the wrong size. So if you wanted to add that detail, you could just print this um, at maybe like 50% and then just cut those little images out and glue them on the end of the box. Now it's important that, uh, so you kind of have this grid and you have these sides and these sides. So all the lines on this side and this side, you need to cut them to the line that goes across. So you're just gonna cut it like this Okay, so we've got all of those lines cut, and then you want to pre-fold all of the other lines. Using a ruler to pre-fold does help a lot. Now I'm just going to take my permanent glue stick and add some glue to the tab to close up the box. You can use a better glue. Um, I don't know if a glue stick will be the best glue, glue for the corner here, um, but it should hold okay. So he's going to fold the bottom of the box in, fold that over, and you could put a piece of tape on there. And then we have our Wonka box. Look how cute it is. All right, so there's our Wonka box, and you can go ahead and make up the rest of them. Uh, and then we'll move on to the Wonka bars. All right, so I just wanted to show you the little packing tape strip I cut. And it comes up just like you would imagine tape on a box would come. Um, that is actually the width of the packing tape. So if you just cut a strip, however wide or thin you want, I cut mine is probably about almost a half inch, but not quite. 
Okay, so three of these boxes are going to be dupe boxes, so I'm just going to go ahead and close those up. I don't need to fill those up because there's no need. It's going to be closed and sealed. So here's my little piece of tape. A little farther over. Move those edges down. And we've got our Wonka Bar box. Ta -da! Okay, so I'm going to do that to these other two. And then one of them has this. And I'll show you how we're going to stack those. All right, so I only did two of them with the ends because that's all I had, you know, actually printed out. And so I'm going to end up stacking mine like this, I think, so that you can kind of see that. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. So, all right, now we're going to move on to making our chocolate bars and the stuffing for the box. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut up my um, crepe paper. Um, I'm going to use some herb shears because it makes nice thin strips. You can get these on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. And they make nice little strips. And they're all even and they look cool. So, <laughs> we've got lots of shreds for our box. I'm just going to uh, crumble those up. Now, I'm being kind of rough with this because crepe paper is pretty strong, but you, um, if you're doing uh, tissue paper, you want to do it soft and gentle. Oof. All right, now we've got our fluff. We're just going to put a little bit of that in our box. Yay! Maybe just a little bit more. A few extras on this side. Anyway, so now let's move on to actually making our chocolate bars. All right, so you're going to need your chocolate bar. This is from the S'mores pack, which is very easy to find based on the sound it makes. It makes a very clappy sound. Um, and your Wonka bar wrappers, some tin foil, and your golden ticket, of course. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and open up this chocolate bar because this is too big to go in the boxes that I made. I made the boxes based on the actual size of the chocolates and the size of the wrappers. So, you know, they go with the actual chocolate bars, not necessarily this oversized package. So, um, they don't, they're, they're probably not comparing exactly in size to uh, the actual Wonka ones. But see, you get three pieces of chocolate and those three pieces of chocolate are going to make one bar. I know this is a little bit long, but that's how I designed, you know, the wrappers and everything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap those. So I'm going to cut Up the tin foil. Now you're going to want to put these on the inside where it's not as shiny and we're going to make just make a mark just to kind of give us an idea and then let's say approximately there. Cut this and actually cutting tin foil with your scissors will sharpen your scissors so don't be afraid to cut your tin foil. It really does work. That's how I've sharpened my scissors for many years. I don't know why it works. I just know that it actually works. My scissors are already sharpened just by cutting that small amount. So, take this. Put it, we're going to put them upside down in the center first. We need to make sure we have our golden ticket inside. So, put our golden ticket, put our chocolate bar, and then we're going to wrap our chocolate bar like so. Going to fold it up. 
fold this in. Wrap it over. Fold those down. Now, I'm going to fold those end pieces in like so and then fold that down. Do the same thing for the other side. Fold that end piece or the corners and then fold it down. And there we have our Wonka bar. And we're going to grab one of our wrappers. You see how that ends up being sticking out the edge a little bit? That's what you want. Grab your wrapper, you're going to fold it around your bar. Fold this side around because that's the end. And then that will glue on there. So we're going to add a little bit of glue stick to that edge. And wrap. We're going to hold that down till it dries a little bit. And we've got our Wonka bar. Check it out. How cool is that? And it does actually have our golden ticket. So if we want to unwrap it, it's got the golden ticket. It's got the chocolate. So that's the one that's going to end up being on top. Now I'm going to make some dupes because, you know, maybe you only have one chocolate bar. So um, I'm going to cut some little pieces of uh, cardboard to approximately that size. And I'm going to wrap those with the tin foil and wrap them just like they were a chocolate bar. Okay, so here are the Wonka bars that are finished. These are the dupes, and this is the one with the chocolate bar inside. Um, so one thickness of the mini burst packaging um, looks like this. Two thicknesses looks like this. So I do recommend you do uh, two thicknesses, and I think that will give you a little bit more of a realistic chunky, chunky bar. But uh, we're going to go ahead and package up our little Wonka bars here. And we can get four Wonka bars per box. So that's kind of fun. And then we can put a little bit of this. I kind of want to add in a little bit of this uh, stuffing to stick out a little bit more of it. Here and there, just to make it a little more festive. I like how the crepe paper will curl, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, all right, and then we'll take our real Wonka bar that we made and we'll place that on top and look how cute. Look how cute, you guys. Okay guys, thank you for watching Mini Reds and Chef. I hope you enjoyed this DIY of the Wonka bars and I would consider this a Miniverse remix since we did use the Miniverse chocolate bar. So um, I hope you enjoy making your Wonka bars and your boxes and all that. And I appreciate you for watching. Hit that like button, that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video tomorrow for Mardi Gras Day on Mini Resin Chef at 6 p.m. Central. Ciao!